Hi everyone, Jalia from the Matchpoint Foundation. Uh, I'm on my way to Bloemfontein where the Junior Nationals are being played. All of our Matchpoint Foundation kids are participating. Um, I'm going to catch up with some with all of them, see how they're doing, catch up with their private coaches, uh, see uh, all the good stuff that they've done since uh, the last camp we had in February. Uh, we'll be chatting to them and. Uh, yeah, getting some feedback and uh, we'll post some videos on what's happening at the, um, at the Nationals. So, uh, hope you guys will join us, follow us on our YouTube channel and uh, yeah, stay up to date with what the kids are doing. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Finals morning. Courts are wet. Um, players are warming up. Everybody's getting ready. Standing with Luke Koenig, the runner-up of the under-16 boys. Luke, how was your match today? Yeah, um, I did get pumped. I lost 2-1 in the finals. But it's okay, because it's all just a learning experience for the future. Um, tell me a little bit, I mean, obviously with the rain it was difficult. How did you adapt to uh, the conditions? Yeah, it was very windy. The guy had a huge fine and big serve. Trying to chip it back, but obviously my game plan didn't work. <laughs> Uh, what, what was the, the fun things that you did uh, when there was rain delays? Probably a chip and dip stand is quite nice. Uh, just spoke to everyone around me, social life. What's your, uh, what's your plans for the rest of the year? Um, I'm thinking of going to New Orleans in July or June. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. But just keep training hard, just keep working at it. Um, where do you train Luke and who's your coach? I train in Durban, South Africa. My coach is Jared Temlitz, Robbie Koenig and John Lafney Diocha. Listen, um, if there's one thing in your game that you would like to improve um, this year, what will that be? Capitalizing on the volley, getting the first volley deep and finishing off the second volley. Well, great stuff and good luck for the rest of the year. Thanks, Joe. Standing here with Devin Bardenos. Uh, they shared the, the title. It was, uh, he was up a set and it was five in the second set. So, Dev, how was your nationals? My nationals was great. I played aggressive and I was very focused. And it was one of my, my best matches for the year so far. Um, if there's one thing that you'd like to improve this year in your game, what would that be? Um, to play more aggressive and to take my chances and to learn how to finish the points off, uh, often at the net. Do you have any plans of traveling overseas this year? Hopefully I can go to Europe and America and train on the clay because I've been playing, uh, uh, two years back I played on the clay and I played well, so hopefully I can keep the momentum going. Uh, you're a big Stormers rugby fan, tell us about that. I uh, know I'm not a Stormers rugby fan, I'm actually a Blue Bulls fan. How do you support the Bulls? The Bulls are just, for me, they're way better than the Stormers, they beat the Stormers, so we all know they're way better than the Stormers. When did you start supporting the Bulls? When I was, when actually when I got born, my dad just told me there's no way she's supporting other team in the blue. I'm here with um, Morgan Yodan, she's the winner of the under 10 girls. Morgan, are you happy about your title? Yes, I'm very happy. How was your competition this week? Uh, it was tight, but I, I thought I could do better. Okay, what's, uh, where do you train and who's your coach? I train by Gales and my coach is already. Uh, if there's one thing that you want to improve this year and you need to uh, do better? I want to hit my shots deeper and to focus not to get so angry on the pitch. How was the weather this week in Bloom? Uh, it was not the best weather. <laughs> Alright, good luck for the year. Thank you.